Not too long ago, I left everyone on a cliffhanger about my next bike. I said I wanted a downcountry rig with a shorter wheelbase, steeper head angle, and leaner tires. Today, I bring you my slightly customized YT Industries Izzo Core 2. YT is a direct-to-consumer brand known for their killer marketing campaigns, and that same thorough energy rolls over into how they package these bikes. Just take a quick look at these shots of my unboxing day. Over the past week, I've been filming a ton on this bike and getting to know it in every way that I can. Did I mention that in the same week I got to spend an entire day filming with Rich and the GMBN crew? Make sure to check out that video on Rich's channel. Anywho, back to the Izzo. This bike is the quiver killer for the types of trails I ride. I'm riding longer, moving faster, and flying higher. The suspension on my Izzo has been provided by Fox. I know, I know, normally I like rock shocks, but this has been a healthy change for me. The newer Fox 34 with that rainbow shaped bridge seems to be much better than past models. It's supple when it needs to be, supportive when it needs to be, and it has incredible ramp thanks to the YT engineers who stated they installed three tokens in the air chamber from the factory. I have yet to bottom the fork out, but I've gotten super close and I'd say that that's a perfect tune. As for the rear, it's the DPS and its characteristics are a direct match to what I just said about the fork. One might say they are a perfect pairing. With the Izzo's 130 travel front and rear, I don't find myself wanting more. This bike is perfect. Another part I normally don't endorse are SRAM brakes. My Izzo is rocking SRAM G2s, which is the successor to the SRAM guide brakes. I absolutely hated SRAM guides, but it seems they've worked out all of the kinks on this next generation. Mine stop well, have good modulation, and still also provide a mean bite when things get hairy. Woo, that was dangerous. <laughs> my drivetrain is, you guessed it, another deviation from my norms. I'm riding a nearly full SRAM GX group aside from an NX cassette and a Session Components chain wheel. After tweaking the parameters for a bit, I finally got this bike shifting flawlessly. My large bike came with a 150 dropper, which I found to be a bit short. Problem solved with this 170 mm PNW. The tires are Max's Forecasters front and rear, which I was honestly afraid to run at first, knowing that they're categorized as an aggressive cross country tire. My fears were unjustified because so far these tires can handle everything I get into and with way less rolling resistance. I am piloting rim pack inserts in them which so far feel really good and are a third of the price of push bore. So for now I don't plan on switching tires anytime soon. This seems to be a winning combo for Bentonville. The frame geometry is spot on where I wanted it to be. I've got a steep seat tube angle for annoying Bentonville climbs and a not too aggressive 66 degree head angle that performs well in the descents as well as on features that cater to steeper head tube angles like turns and jumps. With its carbon front triangle to keep the weight down, this bike feels more athletic than any bike that I've ever owned. Furthermore, to conclude where I left off when I sold my T7, I made the right choice. Down country bikes are where it's at for me and how I ride. I encourage you to throw a leg over the Izzo or any of the bikes out there that are like it and prepare to be amazed. Remember the ride is secure and I'll see you next time.